Again, uh, my name is Brandon. My name is Brian Martin. I'm a licensed product specialist here at Fingers Care. I'll be more than happy to assist you regarding your final expense for life insurance policy code. Okay. First of all, let me explain to you that how we work. Uh, we work with an independent insurance brokerage that is appointed with 40 different insurance carriers. We are licensed in 50 states and helping out more than 2,000 families a year for their full life insurance. Now, these new state regulated plans are designed to cover the cost of your funeral, burial, cremation, or any other debts or obligations that you may leave. God forbid if you die tonight, tomorrow, or the day after. Now, right. since we are specialized in end of life planning, and we are appointed with 40 top aerated insurance carriers such as AIG, Mutual of Omaha, Liberty Bankers, Royal Neighbors of America, and many others. All right. Now, I will do shopping at 40 different insurance windows for you, and we'll give you the cheaper rate for the best possible coverage. All right. Now, Mr. Brendan, uh, keep in mind that all of these policies are going to be permanent whole life insurance. What that means is the policy will never expire to you, and the premiums are never going to increase on you regardless of your age or your health condition. Okay. Now, so a lot of folks, they will use this coverage for three reasons. Number one is to cover their funeral burial expenses. Number two, for cremation expenses. And number three, to leave money for their family. Right. So what do you reckon, what do you want this policy to do for you? Cremation. Cremation, I hope. I can definitely help you with that. Okay. And uh, just to understand your situation better, let me ask you this. Are you currently employed, self-employed, or retired? I'm retired. I'm retarded. Oh, okay. Perfect. Now, uh, Mr. Brenner, since the cost of life insurance policy depends upon your health conditions, you know, I'm going to ask you a couple of health questions here in order to make sure that you are really qualify for all of the available discounts, okay? Okay. Very well. So, tell me, sir, have you ever been diagnosed or treated for an Alzheimer's, dementia, congestive heart failure, an organ transplant, HIV, AIDS, or cancer? Uh, I got Asperger's. You got what, I'm sorry? Asperger's. As what, I'm sorry? It's Asperger's. Uh, what is that, actually? I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. It's a brain disease. Not all right upstairs. Okay. Is it like aneurysm or schizophrenia or bipolar? Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay. Guess it disqualifies me, huh? No, 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 no. It's because we do have an insurance company, you know, that can cover uh, the customer with any of the health conditions, even if they have terminal illness. So that's not a problem. Damn. Now, um, in the last 12 months, have you had a stay in the hospital for more than five days? Last 12 months? Nah. Yes, sir. Nah. Okay. Are you a smoker or non smoker? Well, I'm smoking hot. No I'm smoker. You smoke what? I smoke weed. You smoke weed, okay. Okay. Do you have any kind of breathing problems such as GOPD, bronchitis, emphysema, or asthma? I probably got asthma, but okay. I've never been diagnosed. And do you use any inhaler for that or oops. Yeah, I do. I use an inhaler. Okay. Do you use oxygen machine as well? No. Nah. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, um, do you have any disorders in terms of kidneys, lungs, brain, arms? Oh uh, yeah, the brain. Brain, okay, yeah, you told me that already, I got you. Right. Uh, and uh, how many medications do you take on daily basis? Uh, like six. About six, alrighty. And what are you taking those medications for, like for what reason? Yeah, Asperger's. Okay, so can you spell Asperger's for me? 
Well, I think it's A S B E R G E R S, something like that. Okay, yeah, I got a ride here. Okay, well, you got it too? Shit. What was that? I'll say you got it too. What's it, contagious? I'm sorry, uh, could you repeat yourself? I'm just saying, you got Asperger's too? No, I do not, sir. Oh, okay. I'm glad I did not. I know, yeah. shit's contagious. That's contagious, okay. I don't know. I got it from my old lady. She gave it to me, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem with that. Now, uh, sir, uh, you uh, told me that you're taking six medications, and uh, uh, what are you taking the rest of the medications for? Like, for what reason? Well, for my brain. Asperger's. Mm -hmm. it's, no, it's no fun. And what else? Like all of the six medications are for your friend or something? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Do you got diabetes? No. Not yet. Working on it. I'm sitting here at McDonald's right now, as a matter of fact. Okay. All right. And tell me, sir, what is your height and how much you weigh about? Uh, I'm um, 300 pounds. And I'm five foot ten. But that's on a good day. Okay. What was that? That's on a good day. That's bone dry. Alright, so do you take any kind of water pills? No. Nah. Okay. Alrighty. Professor, uh, that are all the questions I need to ask. Now, with the music, I should be able to pull out uh, different options for you. Right. Uh, in the state of my life. Right. Okay. Now, there are two ways I can pull out the rates for you. Either you can tell me that how much you would like to spend on your final expense insurance monthly. So I can go ahead and pull the maximum coverage you can get within your budget. Or, um, you can tell me that how much coverage you want to have on yourself, like uh, 5,000, 10,000, 15, 20, or maybe. Uh, uh, you know, let's play. I'm not going to die for 5,000, Alex. So, do you have like a budget in your mind that you want to share with me? Well, How much the, you can the, you, uh, uh, spend on this kind of insurance. The dude before you talked about $25 a week. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Like, let's say if you want to cover your cremation expenses in the state of Maryland, right. cremation average cost is somewhere between uh, $3,500 to $4,000. Right? If it goes to the maximum, it's not going to be more than $5,000. Right? Okay. Now, the insurance company I have chosen for you, this insurance company name is going to be Liberty Bankers, uh, one of the top average insurance companies with the Federal Business Bureau. Okay. Liberty Diberty? Now, uh, Liberty Bankers is uh -huh. Liberty Bankers. I saw their commercial. Right. Liberty Diberty, yep. Cool. Yes, it is actually a parent company of Liberty Mutual. Nice. Okay. Now, if you go for about a uh, 5,000 worth of full life coverage, then they are coming up as a premium of $68.02 a month. 68? You say 68? Yes, sir. $68. Ouch. Can't afford to die. Ouch. Well, sir, uh, let me tell you about the benefit of this. It's okay. a one coverage with no wedding period, which means, God forbid, if something happens to you and you pass away uh, tomorrow or the day after, after making your first hearing, you will be 100% covered from the insurance company. All right, so there is no wedding period. Well, that's good. Well, I'll be dead. It wouldn't matter to me, but whatever. Right? Now, like, you know, if you just make a single premium today, let's say you took that policy today, and if for some reason you uh, you died 
tomorrow or the day after, right? Well, wow. you'll be hundred percent covered. Like your family will get the full five thousand dollars. Not trying to jinx me, are you? Not trying to jinx me. Is that what you were thinking? I don't know. I don't, I don't plan on dying tomorrow. I hope not. I got shit to do. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. You know, I hope you live longer. But you know, uh, tomorrow is never promised. You know that, right? You know, yeah. no one knows about tomorrow if we're gonna wake up tomorrow or not, right? Really? This policy will give you that peace of mind that even if something happens to you, right, you will be hundred percent covered. No one else have to pay for your expenses from their own pocket. Actually, the longer I live, the more money you make. So. I don't think you're trying to jinx me. All right? I gotta pay this every month. That's okay. That's right. And in return, you're getting a coverage meant for yourself. Nice. That's the cheapest you got, huh? For five thousand, yes. For five thousand, that's the cheapest I got. Okay. Or uh, let me uh, get you another insurance company. That is gonna be. Uh, AIG. Right. They have their, uh, I believe they'll have their cheaper rates for $5,000. Let me pull out their codes. Well, what was that one for? How much was that? The, uh, the one I called you earlier with Liberty, that was $68.02. Oh. I'm just saying that was for how much coverage? That is for $5,000. Oh. Same amount, huh? Damn. Yep. Liberty's expensive. No. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can get you AIG as well. Right? Now AIG can get you five thousand uh, at a premium of fifty-one dollars and forty-seven cents. Getting there. You're getting there. And now let me. And, okay. Let me tell you about this. Uh, this benefit. Uh -huh. This will have a two years limited benefit, right? If, God forbid, if you pass away in the first two years, right, you will get the premium that you have paid plus 10% interest on that. Right? Uh. And after the first two years, you'll be 100% covered from the insurance company. Wait, after the first three years, what happens? After the first two years. Like, if you uh, if you die in, in natural death within the first two years, uh. you will get the premium that you have paid plus 10% interest. Oh, I see. And after the two years, uh, you'll be 100% covered. And if you if you die in an accidental accidental death, you'll be 100% covered from the first day. I guess none of these cover suicide, huh? Yes, sir. All right, so, just... yeah, these are the two places that I can get you. I can go to higher and uh, higher coverage than that. So. Okay. All right. Fifty-one dollars, huh? Yes, sir. So, what was that? Fifty-one dollars, yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm worth it. Suppose I just die. What happens? The state's gonna bury me, right? Or burn me, right? Don't they cremate you? Uh, well, they're gonna give you around two hundred some dollars, uh, as it was back in nineteen, you know, nineteen eighteen. Well, uh, the state is started giving uh, uh -huh. to each person who dies uh, two hundred something dollars, right? Right. So after so that, it is so what are you gonna do? Let me, you. you gonna put me out in the trash? I mean, what happens? You know, they don't let just people just rot out in the yard, yeah. do they? Uh, that is the reason why people use big life insurance policies instead. Well, look, I'm saying, if I died. And got a new family. The state's gonna pick me up and do what? Hold me ransom? I don't get it. They're maybe gonna donate your body to the science or. Oh, well, hey, maybe I'll do that. Is that an option? Let's do that. I wanna do that. That's a good idea. I think that's good. Okay. You don't wanna do a cremation or a burial? Well, donate to science. I like that idea. That don't cost shit, right? That's right. Wow. That's the way to go, then. 
I think I'm going to do anything. Okay. Gonna... There's no point in talking to you to the first person and you right. should not ask him to transfer you over to me. Yeah, Reno, you know, I don't really care. I'm going to be dead, right? So, I think that's a great idea. I appreciate you uh, bringing that to my attention. You have a nice day. No problem.